Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another episode of La Mag. Let's make a game! So, last time I left off, I was in the placement system. We were doing part three of it, I think. Uh, and if I'm looking at this correctly, I think we had last left off... Not here, not here. Okay, so... <clears throat> Right here, he had um, like a descendant part color. Hold on, that's a little bit loud for me. There we go. I don't know if it's loud for you. A little bit of background noise. Not background noise, it's, it's the music, but it's concentration programming music kind of stuff. Okay, so hopefully you've noticed that the above GIF uh, looks pretty good, with the exception that we currently have overlapping objects. I don't remember if we did the overlapping objects or not. So that's what we're going to go check out real quick. Hit F5. This is where we left off. I was able to place things, right? And if I remember right, I can just click, or no, E. And yeah, but if I overlap something, yeah. Okay, so first things first, I don't like that we have a red table and this is showing a clear table. So let's go into the model itself, which should be in replicated storage, furniture, table. Tabletop right there. We're gonna change this to just a, a white color, pure white, and we're going to give it a transparency of 0.75. That's not right. Let's check, see if that works. 0.75 might be too much. I don't know, that looks pretty good. Yeah, looks, looks kind of cool. And then we can hit R to rotate it. Nice. Okay, so hit B, hit stop. I'm also gonna change this plastic to, um, is there a glass? Oh, snap. Look at that. We can actually make it a glass table, which wasn't available whenever they did the tutorial. Ooh, oof. Oh, that looks cool. Anyhow, um, okay, so we need to change the bounding box. Okay, so let's go to the placement system itself. Canvas object, blah, blah, blah. Where did we have uh, placement? Calculate canvas. Placement, calculate canvas, you frame. Uh, is colliding. False. Uh, for i equals one, break, return is colliding. So we want to see if it's, uh, let's see, primary, primary part. What is the primary part? It's the bounding box, right? The bounding box is the primary part. So we're going to make the primary part um, Let's see, transparency is going to be 0.80. And we're actually going to give it uh, a color of like a bright green, like that. So this way, as you're trying to place it, it's like a greenish color, like that. But lime green might be too, too much. Can we go dot nine for dot 90? Still like a really green green, isn't it? And then if I actually place it, it yeah. So um, let's go into the placement. When we actually place something, invoke fire server place anchored equals true clone dot primary part dot uh, transparency. C equals 1.0. So, oh, I don't need to save it. I'm going to hit F5 on that. So, this should turn the bounding box um, invisible once we place it. There we go. If you haven't watched the first couple of episodes on this, I highly recommend you go check them out first. Um, basically, we want the, the bounding box to be green unless can place is false if it is not colliding okay so um, 
If okay, so basically this returns is colliding. So if is colliding equals false, then model dot primary part dot trans no dot brick color dot color dot color dot color equals lime oh I guess it's a uh, brick color dot color no color three dot brick color brick color brick color what what am I thinking here brick color lime green else what's the what's the other one it's called really red really red so we want lime green and really red really really red and I guess we don't want color we want brick color And I see it. I see it. I see it. I misspelled it right there. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. There we go. By the way, welcome back to Lamag. <laughs> I saw that the last one was posted February 19th. Whoa. All right. Hopefully. Oof. Oof. It didn't like it. Okay. Um, what did I do? Replicate called brick color. A table value. Uh, brick color dot new? No. What about enum? No, it's not color. Oh my gosh, why have I done this? What has happened? Find brick color. Find color. <clears throat> Doesn't have anything about colors in here. Okay, we're gonna have to figure it out on our own. Okay, model dot primary part dot brick color equals brick color. Dot new. What are what are the possibilities of these? Is that possible? Eh, give it a try. You know, you can't break it. I mean, you could break it, but. Hmm. Why did the, the bob? What? 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 The clone turned the transparency to blank. Placing. Okay, hold on. Is colliding. Oh, do we need to change the transparency as well? I could be wrong. Let's do point nine. Dot transparency. I think that's how you spell transparency. I don't remember. Transparency. <clears throat> By the way, please don't make fun of my spelling. Okay, let's try that. I don't know why it changed though. That's weird. Did it again. What in the world? Stop. 
Okay, maybe I'm just not understanding this at all. Okay, this transparency gets changed right here. Clone.primary part. But this clone is local model clone, right? So it's not the original model. The original model is what we're moving around. And is colliding and is returning is or false. If not is colliding in his server, then do this. This one invokes the placement. So I guess we could do it on, no, we want it on the server itself. Canvas, anchored equals true, transparency. So this is a clone of the model. It's not the model itself. So why is the model? Hold on. If we take this out, that doesn't fix it, right? See, see, now that doesn't change. Okay, we got, we got this, we got this, we can figure this out. Let's go back into placement. Um, what did we take out right here? <laughs> so if is colliding equals false, then Model dot primary part dot brick color equals brick color dot new lime green. Can we just do an RGB color? Hold on. Let's do dot new and then we can do these number value RGB string value. Color three value. The value RGB. Okay, so let's do RGB. Dot new, and then we're going to do <coughs> red, which is zero, green, which is one, and blue, RGB. And then we can switch this, paste with red, green, blue. Maybe it's the, the way I was creating the colors. Well, oh, oh, that's only doing the placement. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, hold on, we need to do this. While moving around. So, where's the movement at? This is the placement calculator. This is the placement dot new. Where's like the mouse move? Hold on, was this hit over here? Shape placement. Can server replicate placement. My placement equals placement. On, on rotate on place. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> rotate in place. Does this have mouse? Yep, mouse gets get local mouse. Table equals this equals clone. Rotate function. Is there an update? Here it is. The rendering step. Set primary C frame. So wait, uh, does this mean that we can table model set C frame? So this is as it's moving. So we should be able to come in here and do these. Uh, local is colliding equals 
and then we actually have it inside the placement system so we can call it as a function on the placement itself is colliding so if oh wait where is it there we go Placement, calculate, table model. <laughs> so, wait. if placement colon is colliding. is a function, right? Didn't like that. It didn't like that at all. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay, wait. Replicated storage attempted to index local model a nil value. Stop. Oh, it wasn't initiated yet. Okay, hold up. So... First off, we need to see if, if there's a placement there, right? Local CF equals placement calculate C frame. Table model. Where are we getting table model from? Placement place, furniture place. Furniture, clone, mouse equals target. Okay. Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Model is being referenced, not placement. Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's undo that and back to is colliding. Closed. Go back over here to the placement system. Control Z, place that back in place, if is colliding. So all we have to do is inside this, do a check for local blah equals placement dot is colliding, like that, right? And that should call our function, which is this. Did I do an uppercase over there? I did, didn't I? This needs to be a lowercase. Like that. And we'll put a little note over here. Uh, checks to see if model is colliding. And if so, changes the bounding box color. That's the outer box. Do that. That should work. Should. Didn't like it. It didn't like it at all. Dang it. All right, let's hit stop. What did I, what did I do wrong here? Uh, da, 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 da. Delete, save. I don't need to save. Let's hit play. Can we play it without anything else? Yep, nope, that works. Placement. All right. So plot equals placement is colliding. Placement. Why is this failing? Because it doesn't have a model? Is colliding model. Gotcha. So we have to pass in model. Uh, let's see if it goes placement table model. There we go. Let's just pass that in. Table model. Hey, there we go. It's green. Oh, red, green, red, green. Yay, that's what we were looking for. Something along those lines. Now, we can actually go and cause that to be a little bit darker. A little bit less transparent. All right? So, we had 0.9. Let's go 0 0.75. 0 0.75. I know, I know. 
for all of you scripters out there that follow me because you think I'm awesome at scripting and programming and stuff like that, and you're screaming at your screens right now like, Code! He should have known better! That's probably true. There we go. So these are now red. I rotate. Red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green. That's awesome. Now what's kind of cool is we should be able to take this. Let's place this back into the workspace. And I'm going to make the table itself slightly smaller. So let's do tabletop. Can we can we do tabletop and the table legs? And what is that? Weld constraint. Okay, that's not what I want. I want to scale you. Scale down just a tiny bit. Are you still touching the floor? You are. Sweet. Okay, so the bounding box is still going to be the constraint. I don't know what this song is, by the way. There we go. Place that back in furniture. And F5. Hopefully, hopefully. See, and this would make it where you can't interlock or cross them over. But the bounding box is still in place. Now I'm way too tall for that table. That is an that is an unrealistic table for me. So uh, I'm gonna go back and change that back to the way it was. Open these up. Grab these. There we go. And we'll go scale just a little. Good. I just didn't like that it was clipping. That's all. We can we can live with it though. All right. Um, so if we wanted to, we could always make it go next child and have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different models, stuff like that. Um, but that's not where we're getting to. We are going to keep moving on. Non collidable developers. Okay. We've done that part. We've done that part. We've done all of this. It's almost time. Took that entire time just to fix it. Mm, success with a P call. Okay. Using data stores to save placements. Okay. Okay. Hold on. advanced using surfaces other than the top. This is a minor addition that can be completely skipped, um, but for those of, who, of you who are interested about how we might use other surfaces of a cube instead of the top, <coughs> this section is just for you. Keep in mind that all of this can be done easily and or this all this can be just as easily achieved if you rotate the canvas part such that the top surface is facing the way that you want. You can, uh, to do this, we return to our ca uh, calculate canvas method. Before we used fix object space vectors to represent the top surface of the C frame. If you wanted to have this work for other surfaces, we go through the similar process, but we need to do the do some actual calculations. We'll now use wait, we'll now use the property surface, which will be normal ID enum to represent the normal of a surface we want to calculate for. Okay, so that's placing on the right. But that's because it does a vector right. Right? Hold on. Placing, uh, calculate canvas. Calculate canvas equals self dot canvas size. Canvas part dot size. Up vector, back vector from normal ID. Uh, if we are using the top or bottom, we treat right as up. 
Okay, so he just changed the script. You wouldn't be able to script on top of that. Rotate around the 9 degree axis. Otherwise, it would be flat and you'd be rotating like that. Find the final vector across. Good, 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 good. I'm more interested in this part, and I think I'm going to save that for the next time because we are already at 25 minutes. Um, thank you for bearing with me while I tried to fix uh, some script and change some stuff around. Sorry it took me so long for the, the brick color. <sighs> That's sad. <laughs> for those of you interested in doing other game develop beside game development besides um, Roblox, we actually have uh, Unity 3D, which is free to download, free to use. They've got a community edition for it. Um, they've got a ton of tutorials. I highly recommend the John Lemon, which is uh, it's a haunted ghost jaunt where um, you actually build it from scratch. So Unity 3D, Roblox development, all kinds of awesomeness coming to you from Lamag. Let's make a game. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe um, down below if you want. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Thanks for watching. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you, Betty, soon. Remember, next time, data stores. <gasps> Outro.